Hello, welcome back to another YouTube video. About a week or two ago, I went to a vintage toy and Pokemon collectible show. Here I am paying for my ticket. And everybody who bought a ticket was entered into a draw. And uh, you can see some of the draw items you could have won. Sadly, you know, spoiler alert, I, I, didn't, I didn't win. They had some cool graded comic books, but I, I didn't win. So the first vendor on my left, they had some uh, a Pokemon DS game. And then he also had a bunch of um, old NES games, DS's, game cartridges. He had Pokemon uh, Fire Red and uh, Sapphire. And then he, uh, the, the person next to him on his right had these two um, tins. I was looking for mainly sealed product, so I picked them up hoping the packs were still, in, still inside. But sadly, they were not. They had, they had two old uh, Pokemon action figures and one of the McDonald's uh, Happy Meal packs. And then this guy had a bunch of license plates. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of license plates. And then I saw a Goku over here that lured me over to this vendor. Because who doesn't love Goku? He had two of them. And there was a couple of old um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles at the top. You can barely see them. And he also had some of those Pokemon bags, mini Pokemon bags. And then I saw a giant Pikachu. And then I saw some of these older uh, wrestlers. Uh, I also do collect these. Uh, I've, I've never mentioned this before in the video, but I got a, a full collection of these. But these ones, at the price they were at, um, they weren't the greatest. And they weren't in the greatest of condition either. And then I saw this Eevee tin, uh, once again hoping there was some packs inside, but unfortunately, it was empty. Then I saw a uh, mini Steam Siege tin. You know, if the Steam Siege tins were in there, it would have been great, but they weren't. He had a bunch of uh, empty tins over here. And so he had the sleeves, but I'm and I'm pretty sure the packs are still in those Pokemon things, the Pokemon Happy Meals, but nothing I really wanted. He had a bunch of um, baseball and different other kinds. There was a straight up gun on that table, so I thought that, that was kind of crazy. There was just a straight up gun. And then I found another bin of wrestlers. There was a. Uh, you There was a Honky Tonk Man right there in pristine condition with his guitar, but it was super expensive. And then I found my first Pokemon card vendor. He had a full um, binder of vintage Pokemon cards. And then he also had a binder of full art trainers. I ended up picking up that Jesse and James for 26, uh, 23 bucks. I think I forgot to show it, but you know, I, I bought it. He had some of the older Pokemon cards up there. So you can see the Justin James for a second right there. And then he had this binder of all rainbow Pokemon cards. And then he also had a binder of uh, all tops Pokemon cards. Uh, you know, mainly with these, I like opening the packs of these instead. But, you know, I was looking for the big ones in this set. Like the Charizard, the Charmander, the... You know, Blastoise. He had a Bulbasaur, but I didn't end up buying that. And then I started flipping through the Rainbow Binder. You know, he had some of the rarer rainbows. Like, a couple of them that were over 20 bucks, 10 bucks. He also had some of the cheaper ones in there. Like, there was a Rainbow one right there for 40 Then I saw these uh, old vending machine Pokemon cards. I've never seen these before, so I was really interested. I wasn't uh, going to buy any until the guy who was selling them said this. Yeah, these are all open 
Yeah, he said they were in pristine condition, so after he said that, I had to pick them up. And then I saw this really um, pretty Mew, so I ended up buying that one. I kind of wish I, uh, I bought the Mewtwo with it, because then it, they kind of would have matched, but you know, I didn't see it until just now. He had the Japanese and English. He said the Japanese were a little bit older, which means they were rare. And then I saw this Tilting Head Pikachu. There was a bunch of Pikachus in there, but this is the one I found the coolest. He said there was Japanese and English. The Japanese was a little bit or older, probably a little bit rarer, but I ended up buying two English ones. And he had, uh, you know, the boxes where they just have a ton and ton of Pokemon cards. More base set hollows, vintage cards. And then he labeled them between, you know, what most people do in prices. So I took a look through them. Didn't really see anything I really wanted in these boxes. And then the lady saw me uh, recording and then she handed me a bunch of um, code cards. So, you know, free code cards for everybody. They were doing a bunch of uh, pack rips while they were selling. And then he also had a big um, bin of just graded Pokemon cards, so I took a look through um, those as well. I saw that Garchomp, but uh, he said it was in a set of three. He didn't mean for it to be in that little bin, but... If I had bought it, I would have had to buy two other great Pokemon cards, you know, didn't really fit in the budget, you know? So I just kept looking through the uh, graded Pokemon card bin. And then he had this big table, uh, which most Pokemon card vendors have. And these people are really nice, you know, thanks again for the free code cards, free code cards. You know, check them out, check them out. And then I looked through some of the cards on the table. He had some of the alt arts from Battle Styles. He had some signed Pokemon cards at the top there. Those were pretty cool. Table of just graded Pokemon cards. Then I saw this Panzerker uh, Alt Art PSA 10. I said to myself, if I didn't buy anything else that day, I was gonna come back and buy that PSA 10 Japanese Panzerker. Um, Use Flash, uh, ran out of the budget, forgot I come back to buy it, so didn't end up walking home with it. He had the the Crown Zenith ones at the bottom. He had the Rotom, and then I have a um, 151 Master Set going on. I've only ever opened like nine packs of 151, so I was looking through here to find any more cards I didn't have. I saw this golden Mew right off the start, decided I don't have it yet, so I'm going to pick it up. It was 15 bucks. Ended up purchasing it. And then another uh, another vendor to the left, he was selling um, just packs. Kind of wish I bought some of the Celebrations ones, because I really like opening Celebrations. And um, he was a little bit cheaper. Like, I went to a store today, and they were selling them for 15 He was only selling them for 10 So I kind of wish I bought a couple, but I forgot. And then he also had another binder to flip through, so I had to flip through that too. Some older vintage ones there. I forgot to record it because I guess my um, my finger slipped on the record button. So I, I swear I recorded it, but apparently I didn't. I ended up buying this Japanese uh, art rare PSA 9 Charmander, and he gave me that little uh, sand uh, shrew sticker for free. I currently have it on my phone. I threw the sticker on my phone, but you know, went to this little outside section where you could see outside. They had a Pikachu poster. Uh, some of the other ven other vendors had a bunch of cars, like this vendor, tons and tons of toy cars. And that was just all comic books on that vendor. 
but mostly where I live, you know, it's baseball card related. Like this entire table right here that I'm walking past, all baseball cards and hockey cards. Like that's all baseball, all baseball right there too. That entire thing, all baseball. Cause where I live, it's the more prominent card, trading card game. And then I saw this uh, other vendor where she had perler beads things where she would make them and then put them in a frame with the other card. I thought they were really cool looking. And I said at the start, I was looking for mostly sealed product. And then I saw these 151 booster bundles, but they didn't have the price on them. So I didn't know how much she was selling them for. So I didn't end up buying any sealed product, which is what I went there for. So I don't know. I don't know why I didn't buy any, but can't can't go into the past, you know. He also had a bunch of binders to uh, uh, my left, and I went back to the Perler Bead person, and I ended up spotting a buff Pikachu. Kind of wanted to pick it up, but I was kind of there for mostly Pokemon cards. And then I saw another table, a bunch of graded Pokemon cards. Looked through here too. Didn't really see anything I was super interested in. He had some of the older packs down at the bottom. I've never really opened any of the older. Pokemon packs, so it would have been pretty cool to buy one of those, but didn't end up. I have that Ho-Oh. I thought that was pretty cool. And then I saw this um, London deck box. I thought I was going to buy it. That's why I showed it off for so long on the camera, but I didn't end up. Like, I'm going to show it for like another 30 seconds when I recorded this, but I, I didn't end up picking it up. He had some more sealed product on a shelf behind him. And then once again, back to the deck box. And this was what one, one of the last vendors of the day. Now they didn't have a ton of Pokemon vendors, mostly baseball cards, as I said before. He had a binder, didn't really flip through it though, kind of skipped past it. And then I saw um, the Temporal Forces Booster Pack, some stackable tins. I'm going to come back to that um, booster box later. And then I saw this vendor with a bunch of plushie, plushies, had a bunch of Pokemon ones. And then this was the one of the, again, one of the last Pokemon vendors. He had a big box just of Pokemon bulk, sleeves, some of the older, older Sun and Moon Packs. And once again, everybody got the big tables of all the Pokemon cards and the binders. And shout out to them, they were also really nice. And then I came back to the Temporal Forces booster box, ended up picking up just one pack. Because that was the last Pokemon vendor there actually was. So, ha came back, bought one pack, see if we could get lucky with it. I ended up recording this pack for a short and uh, there was just a hollow in it. So, kind of unlucky, kind of unlucky. And then this was rounding to the end of the day. I looked over all the vendors, the Pokemon and non-Pokemon ones. So I went home, looked at my haul. This is what my uh, little brother ended up buying. He brought, bought a binder, a Greninja V, and a character art rare. And then my mother bought these um, uh, vintage Ninja Turtles. Those are the free code cards they gave us. And my haul, I got the graded PSA 9 Charmander. I love the art on this one. That's why I bought it. Got the Jesse and James, I forgot to record, you know, forgot to record a lot of things that day because I'm not a very good camera person. The Golden Mew, I'd love to see him. The Pikachu. And the Mew, of course, love to see him. The Temporal Forces Booster Pack. And that was all I bought that day. So, you know, like, subscribe, comment, do all this stuff if you think I should do this again. And, uh, goodbye.